Good morning from Szczecin, Poland. I think we uh, took about five minutes to figure out how to pronounce the word. <laughs> I don't think it's still pronounced it's correctly. It's spelled crazy. Szczecin, Poland. Szczecin, Szczecin. And it is gorgeous. We got here last night. Uh, we had the most amazing dinner. The food was incredible. Oh, we had, we had uh, Ukrainian pierogies. Yeah. Which were absolutely amazing. Insane. Yes. The kofta was perfectly seasoned. Like best meal ever. And so today we are refreshed. We got good sleep. We are going to be walking around Jetchen and seeing all of the beautiful historical landmarks and just enjoying this beautiful day. I think this is the first day that we could walk outside and not have to wear a jacket. Vietnam's chose to, but I, I don't think it's, it's gorgeous. This is the castle. In the 16th century, it was transformed into a Renaissance residence. The castle now serves artistic purposes, housing a theater, a cinema, concert halls, and an opera, and galleries, and a castle museum. I already checked the opera to see what was playing, if there was anything playing um, while we're here because I love the opera and sadly, no. This region was once part of Prussia and then was known as Pomerania, which I'm assuming is where the Pomeranian dogs come from. When you first come into the castle, there's the info center. You want to go there to get your map, everything that you need. called Wally Chobrego and it's just full of these beautiful historic sites. Right along the water, this old port town, just a nice stroll, get some coffee, uh, get some good news, good pictures, beautiful weather out today as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. To our absolute delight, there has been a plethora of tours with cute little olds. Some of the cute little olds are holding hands. I love them. The Oder River was gorgeous. Really cool marine area. Very busy ports. <laughs> oh, here's the building that we were talking about. Look, we were wondering what this is. Very unique architecture behind this. Do you know what it was? Yeah, it's the, um, the uh, symphony, symphony, the local symphony building. And I looked, fortunately there's also not tickets for this. All the museums are closed, it's Monday. Seems like everything is closed on Monday. Yeah, when I did look up, everything seems to open up on a Tuesday, which is weird. I guess they have a siesta on a Monday for the whole day. Yeah, but we're just nice. enjoying walking around anyway. Yeah, it's, it's really nice out. It's not a big city. Um, really clean. Very clean. Feels very safe. Complete difference from being in Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> we trash literally I everywhere. I choose Chechen over Berlin any day. Yeah, out, outskirts of Berlin were really nice, but uh, the, the city itself, not so much. My parents did mention like when we were living there and from 95 to 2000, it was much cleaner. A strange thing that we have noticed in Chechen, it's Chechen, is mm. that <laughs> while we were able to find uh, Russian pierogies and Ukrainian pierogies, when we asked for traditional pierogies, Everyone looks at us like we're crazy. They look dumbfounded like it doesn't exist Yeah, here. they're like, "What? Do you, why would we have pierogies here? But not we, even don't know, we don't know about a good pierogi place. We don't have pierogies here. But the, uh, uh, at the bar we tried it last night, there were like mini ones. We had like four Those are the Ukrainian ones. The Ukrainian Kilmini. Ones, they were absolutely Amazing. delicious. Amazing. Yeah. But we're trying to find like traditional Polish pierogies because it is the national food. We even looked it up to confirm. Yeah, so I think maybe it's a regional thing. Very strange. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of fans.
famous people have eaten at this restaurant. But the only ones that I know are right here. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is what just happened. As we were walking back from a little um, lunch that we had uh, from the Columbus restaurant, I got a notification on email for tickets available. So I went all logged on to the UEFA portal app through my phone. But for some reason, it kept getting blocked. I guess because I'm using um, Google Chrome. And so I rushed back home. I ran. And back to the host, uh, excuse me, to the Airbnb. And I logged onto my computer, tried to Google Chrome again. No, it wasn't working. Because at first thought the issue was the phone. But no, uh, that wasn't it. So I went in and used Safari. I used Safari on my laptop. And... The tickets that were available were the category prime seats, 400 bucks each. I didn't want to get those. Uh, and then what I did was try to get the $200 one. It said one was available. I was going to purchase that one. But I want to try to enter my credit card information. The uh, card wouldn't go through or it said that it wasn't available. Like somebody had bought it. So I kept refreshing the page. And somehow I ended up, when I refreshed the page, it kept now it said hey there was two tickets available for the category two which were 200 euros each so i got those unfortunately i did not get another one from montana but we did sign her up so maybe Lisa. she could get a um, notification later on today or maybe tomorrow before the game and if that happens thank god because we'll be able to put in the order number so she can be seated with the, uh, next to us so yeah that's the update we got two tickets to the croatia albania game uh, and we're looking forward to it in Hamburg. Yes. We tried to see the World War II, Cold War underground tunnels and shelters. That museum is also closed. Don't visit on Monday or Tuesday. We will now take a 35 minute drive outside of the city to the forest. What's the forest called? We'll get back to you on the name of the forest. But it features an emerald lake. Very excited for that. It looks beautiful. We have a drone. We're gonna go hard. It was quite an adventure to get out here, but we made it. We found somewhere where we could park uh, because the first route that we took was taking us like through some back road private property and the T-Rock was not going to make it down that road. So we found somewhere that should give us public access to the beach. Still saw some people fishing. How about you tell them about your um, experience with the bees? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's bees here and they've been following us. Mm -hmm. Dario and I were not excited about the bees, but they seem to have left us alone. But yeah, we're gonna see this beautiful lake check it out, get some cool drone footage, hopefully. There were just some fishermen out there. And we'll see what we see. This drone footage is gonna be sick. Inevitably, part of flying the drone is at one point or another losing the drone. It's way up there. Don't hit me in the head again. 
Let me get out the way first. Last time we did this, V hit me in the head with the yeah. drone. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch him picking his nose and eating his boogers like the Netherlands <laughs> coach. <laughs> No, just looking pretty right there. Just looking so pretty. Dario, wave! Hold on. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> it's been a magical day. I'm stretching. 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 And we loved what we ate last night so much that we're going to go back. Plus well, they have TVs. I think I think what, what it really was it was a server too. The server was the great. The server was great. Yeah, yeah, service was excellent. The food was amazing. Mm -hmm. The server was great. No, food was amazing. We're gonna try some And pizza we can watch the game there. And Dario can get pizza. Maybe pizza. Maybe pizza. Maybe pizza can get pizza. <laughs> <laughs> With pepper, salami. And we can get Everyone whatever we want. Salami. <laughs> so win-win for all things. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Poland, but today we are leaving. We are headed back to Germany, headed to Hamburg for the second game. Uh, and we wanted to show you the Airbnb before we left because it is the cutest and the most amazing location. We were too lazy when we got in to film, so we are checking out. It's a little bit messy, but wanted to show you the place. It's so cute. So Scandinavian. School over there, kids playing in the yard. Downstairs is the bedroom. That couch in the living room is a clean pull out for Dario. And Dad and I were down here. So cute. I think everything in here is IKEA. We love IKEA. Tiny little European shower. <laughs> Location. That's the Duke's Castle right there on the right. Across from us is a famous cathedral and the home of the symphony, a historic gate. Incredible location. We could walk everywhere in like 15 minutes. That's a wrap on Poland. Headed back to Germany. See you in Hamburg. Hi fam, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be backpacking Europe for three months and you don't want to miss a single adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whoa, whoa.